Good girl, no manners, I status, yeah, I don't wanna tell you lies. For those of you that don't know who might be on the channel for some time and you know I never really I never really react or review to artists such as the one that we're reacting or reviewing I guess today Polo G because you know he fits the channel but not the demographic that's on the channel generally speaking but this dude is in my rotation constantly he's one of my I say I say it every time I get to a video that has a minute he's one of my favorite favorite new generation artists he is clearly uh he's clearly upper echelon in the new generation him little dirt you know that they, they just certain dudes that rise above the rest in the new generation and polo g is definitely one of those dudes the goat was fire his sophomore album didn't miss his debut album was even it might even be more fire that shit banged so i'm excited for this it's his third full-length album and we're gonna go track by track i saw that it was 20 tracks which in my mind that's like a hell of a lot of tracks like normally most people can't put that amount of like work out and have it all be bangers but the album is only like 50 minutes so even though it's 20 tracks it's less than an hour so i'm I'm, I'm expecting shorter songs that pack a heavier punch but let's get on into this track number one, Painting Pictures. R.I.P. Touches Brain Cells, bro. So if you don't know anything about Polo G, if you're if you're on the channel and you don't listen to this kind of rap, or if you're here for you, if you're here for Polo G, you know what the deal is, you know. But he he is like melodic rap, melodic like hood pain rap. It's not coke rap. That's more like coke rap is more like gangster rap, like Griselda and all them. It's melodic and he's singing, but there's but there's like a lot of pain and there's a lot of trauma behind the lyrics, you know. Oh. Said I played AAU with my boy and ball was life. Like that's all that we knew when we were kids. And I wish I could have warned him before he lost his fucking life, bro. Like this is what I'm talking about. This is the pain. Polo G is young. He's like in his early 20s. Could you imagine going through this pain that he's talking about at that age? Like he's lost so many dudes, he's lost so many boys. And it's not even just him. Lil Dirk just lost his brother like earlier this week. RIP, rest in, you know, my condolences to Dirk. There's so much pain behind these lyrics that someone his age should have should never experience. I to prove them wrong. They said my dreams is out of sight. Now I 50K up in my jeans on charter flights. And we hey. out of sight. Fire, dog. All right, so painting pictures. It's a, he did exactly it's like a perfect opening track because he's open he's painting pictures for you throughout the album like his his lyrics are very they're very detailed and you can they're very photo real you can see what he's talking about in his lyrics so he's literally painting pictures that's a solid open for the first track on the album bro crazy good planes flying crowds screaming money counters change clinking shit i guess is how it sound when you win it i ain't joking do it sound like i'm kidding i've been making like two thousand a minute obviously i've heard rap star and obviously it's a banger so there's a video for rap star on the channel and next up we got no return featuring the kid Leroy, one of the one of the other star potentials in the game right now and not only is it featuring kid Leroy, it's featuring lil durk who is who people would say is also the goat of the new generation from chicago <laughs> Hey. Bro. All day spinning the block to your best friend laying under you. Like, like literally, he's dead. He's in the ground. To you, like, that's what you do. You think you're, you think you're the shit. You think you're hot. You spin the block with your boy until y'all get popped, and now he's in the ground because of the actions that you chose. That shit is crazy, especially coming off the fact that Lil Durk just lost his brother. Like, they're really about that life. Kid Leroy's voice. Hey. Uh. The Kid Leroy's voice, bro. He's the perfect artist for this for this hook, too. And the pain that the Kid Leroy knows is different than the pain that Polo G and Young Dirk know, but it's still Young Dirk, Lil Dirk know. It's still it's still pain regardless. It's still trauma regard. I can't ever go back to the way that it was. I'm gonna fight to the death to make sure I never return to that place, which was which is nothing but negatives, you know? I can't hang I'm tired of I'm tired of hanging with the like where they knew the killer bro but you're not gonna say nothing because that's not the way the streets work all right yo we are three for three on the album so far this album bangs 
already like just the progression of the songs to go from the like the visceral imagery of painting pictures letting you know like letting you know where i come from before we go on this journey together and then we got rap star which is like we're painting the dark story but then the rap star is like this is where we made it to but then track number three this is where we came from and we can't ever go back to that from the pinnacle it's like perfect so far bro this is exactly what i was hoping for with this album all right next up we got toxic featuring britney spears Baby, I'm a soldier, you won't find nobody solider. Love that bitch so much, I call it. Solider? 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 It was a different sound. If I'm not mistaken, Juice World was from Chicago too. God damn, all this talent in the new generation. It was a different sound, but it was the same type of like sentiment, you know? Yeah, I feel like Juice World wasn't as hood talking about like the hood shit. He was talking about internal demons and, and relationships. Polo G and Lil Durk talk about the hood shit. They talk about the things that they know. It's less relationship-y, but it still got the same amount of pain behind it. You know what I'm saying? In the crowd, every nigga that we dealt with, oh. pipe it up. Hey. Ah, uh, when the hollows get started, they just can't stop. I put this in my mouth at the most inopportune time. That's what she said. I, I like that track, but it's probably my least favorite out of the four that we heard so far. Because the three that we heard, like, they all had, like, a storyline back to back to back. You know what I'm saying? And then this one right here. It's got a little story. It's just basically I'm toxic, you know? Like, it's not even that I'm toxic in a relationship. It's just it's more so that I'm toxic because of the environment that I was raised in. It's not letting me be. It's not letting me give you everything because I gave the streets everything. That type, that type of track. You know what I'm saying? All right, track number five, Epidemic. I'm so sick of farewells and RP. And the mm. trenches yelling. I sound my rollie, but I know time cannot free. Oh. Miss who you used to be, because that's who I was closer with. Oh. I'm in my Bro, this song right here. This song is. I don't even. I don't know if I have words yet. You better pick out a cast because they're going quick. They got some oh. when they post this pick. Every day I gamble with your life. All we know is risk. From the windy city, where you see the code of shit. You see, you see what I'm saying? The lyrics that he's talking about, bruh? He said, You better go pick out a casket because they going quick. The caskets are going quick. We caught him at the red light trying to load his blick. Oh my God. It's like his lyrics are solid. His lyricism like in this pain hood rap, but it's really his singing voice that allows him to like propel to the next level because his hooks, they're melodic. The, the verses are melodic, but the hooks are just like a little more melodic. Oh, bro. This song right here is a fucking, it's a banger. Catch him at the red light trying to load his blick. Every day is a gamble with your life and we know the risk. I know she might cry if I leave. I've been fooled by liars and thieves. Please won't get no more of me. Remember ah. every line from that obituary poetry. See they people I'm balling out oh. for to ignore me. I remember every line from that obituary poetry. Cause he's had so many boys and so many and like die. I've read too many obituaries. I know every line from that poetry. Bro, that is a crazy line. That song right there, bro. That might be my favorite on the album if I'm if I'm lying. If I'm lying, if I if I if I'm being honest. The opposite of lying. That song, that song right there, that song right there is crazy, yo. Just the, the whole sound of the song is like, it's sad. It's sad, the lyrics are sad, the lyrics are cold. Like, this is this is the life that we know. This is the life we grew up in. That shit, oh, bruh. All right, next up, number six, Gang Gang. I actually didn't hear this song when it dropped, so this is my first time listening to this Polo Lil Wayne, but I heard it's fire. So you see them great clouds, I might fuck around, drop the top and all Give us Glock on the flame. Only if they in heaven, that's the only way they looking down on me because I sent them to the to the heaven. Yo, wild line. 
That's a bar. You know what's crazy about this instrumental is that little like, it sounds like a steel guitar or a, or a steel drum in the background and it sounds like raindrops. If you could put a sound to raindrops, like a like a musical sound to it, that's what it sounds like to me. And he's saying, he's talking about, we're gonna drop the top in the rain. To me, that's that's crazy. Here come Wayne, here come Wayne. <laughs> Lil Wayne is one of the first mainstream rappers that I can think of that use similes and metaphors at the extent that he did. They're not always the most complex similes and metaphors. Like you're not getting it, you're not gonna get some crazy extended wordplay like for the for the entire track, one long wordplay. Catching Lil Wayne's bars is not that difficult. It's just he throws them so he throws them at you and like one right after the other right after the other and that's one of, actually that's one of the reasons why I kind of uh, like back in the day I used to kind of push away Lil Wayne music because I was like it sounds he's doing the same thing every time but and when it's that when it's that relentless and it's that potent and powerful like there's no way you could deny forever I wasn't the biggest Wayne head but I know I know everything that he did for the game back in the early and you know late 2000s early 2010s maybe but that 14 day quarantine and then you know they got a price on my head so I told him come crown the king like come come get it back in blood hey hey I cheese my money from the feds that money talking and we talking private no correspondence Bruh. it's so dope because Lil Wayne again was one of like he was somebody who brought melodic rap kind of like to the forefront it's a perfect feature because because he could play off Polo G's feature he could play off Polo G's melody so well because they both can they both have they both sing they're not singers but it sounds good and they so so they blend effortlessly together you know what I'm saying there's a perfect feature for this song all right next up we got boom uh, we do some expensive funny uh, I got oh. this from London uh, you Beat is crazy I'm speeding my engine humming We ain't told me splits for nothing Come on, I'm living so bum But that shit was disgusting Like boom, we make it hot Like boom, the hot like, Oh We put them up like a hot air balloon This like, beat is crazy Like boom, bad dog Dog, holy shit! This song. Deep in that struggle for real, I never had no silver spoon, bruh. Holy shit, that track right there. That was hard. I was not expecting that off of this track. Oh god. And the fact that the lyrics match the beat like boom, and then we have that heavy handed 808. Oh, oh shit. Okay, I'm here for this. Shoo, that track, y'all. All right, next up we got Broken broken Guitars featuring Scory. From handcuffs to rollies, can't give you the old me. You still wasting my time. I feel the rules when I cross break. Listen, clap until his bones break. Hit shot, make his stone shake. And Scotty ain't got no guns. Know the keys to life is wisdom, and I know loyalty is strong trait. From handcuffs to rollies, can't give the keys to life is wisdom and loyalty a strong trait. This is this is probably not going to be one of my favorite songs on the album too. This is probably going to be down there with Toxic so far, but I need to hear this ver I need to hear I need to hear this feature. I got little bros that were toting glizzy since they was nine years old, bruh. Could you imagine being nine years old and having to keep a motherfucking nine millimeter firearm on you because you come from that deep in the trenches? Just think about how fortunate Polo G is to make it out of his situation. What are the chances of making it out from where he made it out from in Chicago? I don't know if he's from the south or the west side, but if you don't know, Chicago is a very, very violent city. To make it from that to this, bruh. All right, but yeah, like I like I figured, I wasn't really that one. That song really didn't hit for me. For me, that was a miss. It was just the pacing of that song. It was the rhythm, the guitar. I'm not really used to hearing guitar on a Polo G track, at least that prominent. The broken, you know, and I like it's just I don't know. It really didn't. It really didn't vibe with me. But we're moving on. We got GNF featuring. Oh no, it's not featuring GNF. 
Parentheses. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Don't get no fuck. I like the I like the aggressive out, energy so far. Ooh, they don't wanna fuck with no wolf. I got shooters that don't even hoop. I got shooters that don't even hoop. Ooh. Shooters that don't even hoop. Oh my god. This this is that energy. This is the this is the heaviest and like most aggressive track on the album so far. Just a cold heart and a bang on my waist. New clutch gon' bust. And they hopping out, nigga. They ain't on the base. If you listen on the next, don't scalp it. You be better off watching your mouth. Killers don't care about no clout shit. Real killers don't care about no clout shit. Squeezing on that two plus seven. Squeezing on this two plus seven, bro. Squeezing on this nine milli. Oh my god. This track right here. This is this is aggressive. It rare it's rare we get this from Polo G. Carry your baby like every get mothers. Whoa. Don't get no fuck. That low that lower end on the piano, bro. Whew, that track right there. That was up there for me, bro. I don't know about you, but that shit was hard. Is it that got like that poo shicey back in blood type type vibe to it, but but Polo G, like the Polo G sound, but that type of poo shiesty energy. You know what I'm saying? Woo! That one was crazy. Crazy. All right, next up, we got Go Part 1 featuring G Herbo. Rather get caught with it. Can't fuck with too many. I feel like I'm too authentic. Pink slip, shawty bitch. My Rolly presidential, like I know the Senate. Ha ha, yo. The Rolly Prezi? I'm a trenches Ooh. baby when there's danger I can sense it. Ah. Boy said I'm a trenches baby when there's danger I can sense it, bro. But he said I got the rolly on my wrist presidential like I know the Senate. Just losing all my niggas damn. Three years later, whole world know who the fuck I am. Ah. Ah, uh, Gina and Pam, twin forties. And all the shooters love me. They call a nigga real. Can't say no cap, but that don't cap. I would cap a lot. I knew that was coming. I knew that that bar was coming. I would say no cap. Put that in like word the cap a lot. Polo cap a lot. That's that's like Polo G's nickname. G Herbo goes hard too. That's another one that doesn't hit the channel, but he's uh, he goes he goes. I guess you have to like this style of rap. I mean, I guess you have to like this hood style of rap. It's not for everybody. Deal can be in that field because we really blessed. Ah, that little rhyme scheme. Ooh. These boys lived it, bro. Whole lot of oh, oh. If he reached for his Cardi, there's gonna be a whole lot of red. Playboy Cardi's most recent album, but there's gonna be a lot of blood splatter. <laughs> uh, these two tracks back to back. These are crazy energy, bro. Crazy energy. All right, next up we got Heart of a Giant featuring Rod Wave. Heart of a Giant walking to the beat of my own drum. I was going numb, but that was back when I was popping perky. Running hard, uh, I'm trying to sell off my conscience. They sell off controversy. Can't compare. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm trying, trying to sell off my conscience, but they want controversy. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get rich from what's in my mind, but they want to stir shit. It up instead, bro. Fast breaks it up his body that shot up his jersey. They keep forgetting got the city breaks it up shot up his jersey. Running from the graveyard, so we pack all in the banishers. Running from the graveyard. Heart broken as he got older, blocking his pants. If he show it, he gonna blow it off of the man. I thought you was different, but you blew just like these other hoes. Me and my feelings, once I seen how your true color show. God damn. They heard the news about DD. I didn't have a heart attack. Yeah, Rod Wave reminds me of uh, he reminds me of a more hood version of Moray, or more right Moray reminds me of a less hood version of Rod Wave. He's in between Polo G and Moray, like their styles combined. That's who Rod Wave is. He's a perfect feature for this track right here. All right, next up we got Zooted Freestyle. I work the pack on one double with a stole weapon. My little homie known for shooting like he cold been it. Was y'all the story off the staring in the mirror? Still ain't met nobody really yet. Ah, staring in the mirror. Still ain't met nobody really than me. You go on 10,000, they gon' have to outline his body like a silhouette. What you know about watching off? I can't say I'm sorry about some shit that I'm gon' do again. Ah, yeah. He's gon' try to take my chain, boy, that's suicide. 
straight from the slums, where it's do or die. Now yep. you gon' survive. What else or what? Better choose a side. Don't turn off for this if you ain't bout it this shit, damn. Goofy's home bout the day outside, nigga, barely. I got way too fair to see no reaper, but he spared me. He said you better choose a side and don't shine up for this if you ain't bout it, cause this shit is deadly, bro. Like, this ain't no game out here. Yo, that was nice. That, that was, it wasn't... It's a freestyle. I mean, there's no hook. It's not really a, it's like a loosely structured freestyle. So, I mean, that's not going to get a whole lot of spin from me personally. So far, Zooted Freestyle, Broken Guitars, and Toxic. Those are the three that are kind of like easy passes for me. Like, I'm not really going to fuck with those too much. I'm, I want to hear this part life by with featuring DaBaby. Because in my mind, DaBaby, he like sounds like, sounds the same on every song. Whether it's his song, whether it's a feature, like, like that's one of the mo biggest things I'm critical of when it comes to the DaBaby. And it like turns me off to his music. So I'm, I want to see how he does with Polo G as a feature. I like this little groove. I like this. I like that hook big time right there. One of my favorite hook. If that's the hook, one of my favorite on the album. Mm. I like this. The baby needs to step up. I like this. Okay. Hey, okay. Okay. Oh, show the shit show. Okay, the baby. I was hoping that he would lean toward Polo G sound and style, which he did. I didn't want to get that same the baby that we have from every single single that he put out. The sounds. Like the baby and Meek Mill, both of these dudes, I don't like their music because they just they just sound exactly the same on every track. There's nothing there's nothing different about it. But this right here, at least to me, but this right here, this is crazy. He went a little melodic, matched Polo G's lyrical style, and, and blended in some of his lyrical style together. That was way better actually than I thought it was gonna be. All right, next up we got losses featuring Young Thug. I know Young, Th I know why he's held as as like in high regard as he is. I get it. I respect the grind and what he did for rap at that time, but I was just never really a fan. I do like that. Uh, I do like that he's able to switch up the melody and the and the rhythm of the melody because I can see how people would think that Polo G style gets repetitive because it's just all melodic. It's just all, and he's talking about all the same experiences in different ways. But that that like da 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 like that's a that's a whole different like rhythm than the rest of the album. So keep so it keeps the song fresh in my mind. At least. It's music to my ears and I'm dancing with the devil. Put my bros on my protect, got hood angels in my best. Yeah, we pay for my cars, I got several. They ain't cut from my cloth, no. They ain't cut from my cloth, no. Nothing but bad bitches and boss hoes. I have played everything. It's, I don't know what it is about Young Thug's music. It might be his voice. I'm not a fan of Lil Uzi Vert either, who is who is who who has the same style of like, I can listen to a couple of songs from both of them, but I'm not, I can't like listen to a whole album. So it's dope that Polo G got him on the album because of the fact that Polo G style and, 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 the, and the melodic rap and all of that, it kind of like he was a pioneer in that Young Thug was. And that's what I mean when I say I respect like what Young Thug did for rap because dudes like dudes like Polo G, they came up and crafted their own sound by being by being influenced by Young Thug. And you can tell, you can hear it. But it's just something about Young, Young Thug's voice, I think, is what I don't really fuck with too much. <laughs> this song got like a little swagger about it, I think. It's just like, it's just very smooth. I don't know how to explain it. It's just got a really smooth sound. It's got a, it's got a really like, confident delivery he's just riding the wave he's riding the beat so well you know and it's just something about i can't get over with young thug i don't know what it is about it like if i thought that anything was quote unquote mumble rap which i don't even think exists um i think there was a period where it's like transitional rap between this between what we had before and melodic rap and young thug and Lil uzi Vert and the people that fit in that in that lane like they help transition the sound they're not mumble rappers but if anybody was going to be a mumble rapper quote unquote i think it would be young thug all right next up track number 16 we got so real say she is the truth when it's time to show affection again the softer side of polo g i like this 
I like the little switch up. Come on, I'll take you where you need to go. Tell you whatever you need to know. Tears of a warrior, I can battle cry. Know you wondering how I survive. And I love the way that you make me feel. May 18th, 9 o'clock, LA time. I remember that's the first day we FaceTime. Now even hey. when we still finding a class. Baby, let's go on the run. Play you for your heart, girl. Let's have a one on one. Treat this love like a relationship. Play you for your heart. Let's have a one on one. Like a guardian angel that went. All right. Obviously, a clear switch up in sound, a clear switch up in, in, in what he's talking about. But I like the fact that he switches it up and he's paying homage to his girl. He's He's got a son. He's a dad now. So it's dope that he's able to switch from like this pain to like this is the only this is the only thing my son and my girl are the only thing that are able to make my day better you know that's not going to be everybody's favorite track it's probably not going to be crazy like at least for me replayability because we're, we're like on 20 tracks so like you know there's going to be some that i'm not gonna that i'm not going to listen to but there's going to be dudes out there that do come from the same place and have similar sentiments as polo g that will listen to that that there's going to be girls that that will listen to that who are the partners of of dudes who come from that situation that are gonna be like, you know, I'm riding with him. And I think he's done a couple of tracks like this in the past. Now there was a couple that was like this. So it's not like, it's not out of the ordinary for him to do this. All right, next up we got Fame and Riches featuring Roddy Ridge, bro. Roddy, Roddy don't, Roddy's another dude that don't miss. I'm, I'm excited for Roddy's new album, whenever that is. Baby, this rock flowing all the cows, trying to shake these thoughts and thoughts. But if a pussy play, we knock him off. He might get a halo from these hollows and drowning in my sorrows. Might get a halo from these hollows. Crazy. And my feelings in his race, because that's what stars so thin. And secure, but he's so scared to let his stars show. Might cash out on the... He said, in my feelings in this wraith, because this is where the stars cope. That was a fucking bar, bro. Like stars in the ceiling that the wraith has, like the, like the fucking twinkle lights that are in the ceiling of the wraith, but also like not just the twinkle stars, but he is a star. And that's where, oh, bro, that was hard. Father God, I just pray for forgiveness. How do we feel pain? What's the difference? Look, I'm gonna let it bang. Fuck a witness. Cold killer rays from the trenches. Fuck them down ties. I don't know who by my side. Cause these niggas tell me lies. I cross too many times. You can't guess who that's the best. Dad never ever sent a JPEG. I promise I'm a Damn, son, they'll never even send a JPEG. He said they won't ever, if I make it out of prison, they won't come visit. They won't even send a picture. They won't even send a JPEG, bro. Their, their ability to tell their story is what makes this type of rap, is what makes Polo G, it's, what, it's like what makes them as good of artists as they are. Because you don't even have to be from these streets like this. You don't even have to understand any of this to understand like they, they paint that picture for you so well. They paint that picture of pain and, and, and people turning their back on them and they and the and betrayal and violence and and losing people that they love and being numb to all of that. Like even if you don't know that story, even if you're not from there, you can empathize because of how well, how well that they tell that story, you know? All right, next up we got For the Love of New York. Oh shit, Nikki's on the album? Is she coming out of retirement? What's the deal? She just like it when you say less and do more. Baby, we not vibing. If it's how to cry, she done cried all the last cry. Hey, what is this? This that reggaeton beat right here. This isn't something that I was expecting. And I can I can hear like the louder the lighter sound because Nicki Minaj is on the track. So this is more like Polo G is catering to Nicki on his album versus Nicki coming to Polo G style, you know? How many times we gotta argue before we get it right? Cause there been long days and better nights. We feel it's all confusing. Oh, got like that I'm island bob, that, that island like lightness to it. All right, I'm ready for Nikki. I'm ready for Nikki now. You said you never make me cry. That's right before you make me cry. Ah. Said you ain't like them other guys. Then you let me to my demise. I never should have took your surname. Kept you from the bird brains. Now you in my burn book. Fuck you and what's her name. I'll always be the one that you let kids away. Hey. I'm doing our favorite song and I just let it play. Is Nikki back? Is she back on her on her bullshit? I know she dropped that little mixtape. I didn't get time. I didn't get around to doing that one either. I was too busy. But it's like she's coming back for the throne, bro. Nikki over Cardi every day, all day for me. It's not even close. That track was nice. I, I just, how do I say it? It's like, it's got a little bit of replay value for me. So I'll probably listen to it a couple of times at least. It's not going to be my favorite on the album. It's not going to be my least favorite on. It's not even going to make the bottom half of the album. I think I like it a lot because of the sound switch up to like that island type of vibe to that reggaeton type of vibe. And I think Polo G, he kind of kept his same style right there, but he switched it up enough to where I'm like, oh, okay. 
I can, I can hear this. This doesn't sound terrible. You know, this doesn't sound bad at all. And then Nikki, obviously, Nikki's Nikki. She's gonna come through and do her thing. Her lyrics in this track are more like storytelling. Like it's one long story or one long verse about one topic where Polo G, he switches topics, he switches he switches moments in all of his songs. Like it's not one continuous, it's not one continuous thought thought train, you know? But I thought, I thought it was nice. I thought they did well right there. We got two more tracks, Clueless featuring Pop Smoke, R.I.P. and Fabio Foreign. Axel, Axel, Axel. Bruh. Oh my God. I'm been fucking with drill so heavy lately. Oh my, the sound of drill, the way the beat moves and the way the 808 just kind of like floats in and out when, it, when they bend it, when they pitch bend it and then doom, doom, doom. And then just the like, the off rhythm hi-hats. I know Fabio, I know Pop Smoke, you know, I know that they're, I know that they're like, or Pop Smoke was RIP, but I know that they were kind of like the leaders of United States drill. I need to get on some, I need to get on more drill 100% because that shit is heat. He. I got a fast wind, short uh, short, and then he passed grip. Bill with me, he do mad hits. Bruh, you hear the way that beat just Drop comes in? Hey, hey, hey. This shit is hard. This shit is hard. I can't fuck with that hoe because I'm rich. Hey, hey, hey. Bruh. That shit right there was fire. Oh my God. There's just so much going on in drill production, but it's also like so, it's like so little and so much at the same time. Polo, Fabio, RIP Pop Smoke. That was a banger. That one's up there for me. And it might be because I'm like having a little bias toward drill music right now, but all right, on to the last track, Bloody Canvas. You know, hey, it's dope that he's ending the album with Bloody Canvas and he started the album with Painting Pictures. That's tight. Uh, let me tell you about it. Uh, nigga, he was on Ooh. the court. Say don't fuck with niggas. He stay social distance like he quarantined. Then his daddy game banging one day. He might take his spot. Five years old and he taught him how to aim a Glock. Uh, you have to take your family. That's what he Oh did. my God. He could be grabbed. I'm telling street stories. Shit intriguing like a plan. Shit like he put it to their neck if anybody on the all you hear this story that he's fucking painting right now for you? Literally a bloody canvas. He's painting this picture of this place that he came from. He's telling this story like it's third part, like he's not talking about himself. He's literally painting a picture on the canvas for you. And that and it's in blood because of the violence and every everything negative that he grew up with. And it, and not only is it in blood because of the violence, it's it's his blood because it's in him. It's ingrained. It's part of his genetics coming from this life. Crazy, bro. Don't anybody tell me. Don't anybody tell me that Polo G is not lyrical. I don't want to hear that shit. Are you listening to this story that he's telling right now? I feel the sense of panic. I feel the sense of Oh, I saw all my idols doing this. I saw them bragging about putting it to their neck. I, saw, I sh learned how to shoot a gun when I was five years old. Like, And now that's coming to fruition with my boy who's about to get shot at by the ops, his best friend. Yo. Then his ops bit the corner here. see him come around. When he looked up at the cottage, when them shots went down. Bro, Bro, if you close your eyes and listen to these lyrics and you don't see the movie that's happening in your head, there's something wrong. Because that... This, Oh my god, didn't even get to graduate. Blood leaks while the EMTs gotta carry your baby like surrogate mothers. Whoa. You know what this song reminds me of? It reminds me of Sing About Me Dying of Thirst at the end. We're like, man, fuck this shit. My brother, homie. This is every day in the hood. Every day. It's like one o'clock, gripping on a silver smith and someone like 30 shots. Shots to the leg. Hollow tips ate him. Failed to get shoes. He ain't laced there. Walked up, stood over. I'm like, pussy, this for Jacob. Gave him 
the story. Judge gave him 49 years. Bruh. And that's how we end the album? That story right there. That's why he's the go to the new general. Did you just hear that? That storytelling capability that people don't even think that Polo G has. They don't think, they think, okay, he's painting pictures. Like, that's one thing. But to be able to tell a compelling story, that was the longest song in the album at 4 minutes and 25 seconds. Told the entire story of the growth, the grow up in the hood, getting shot. And then somebody retaliating, getting shot down, getting put in prison. Bruh, and that happens every day. That's the life that he comes from. Yo, that's that track right there. That's easily my favorite on the album. Not even a question. All right, yo. I don't know what the fuck happened to the camera, but I'm glad it only missed like two minutes of video. Either way. All right, so really there's not too much to, there's not too many misses for me on the album at all. I wouldn't say it's perfect. Uh, so Real is a good track, but it's, you know... I might listen to it a couple times, but that's about it. Same thing for the Nicki track. Uh, Losses, again, not really a huge Young Thug fan, and I don't think I ever will be, so I'm not going to listen to that one too much. Broken Guitars, get that out of there. Toxic, get that out of there. Uh, the Freestyle, Zooted Freestyle, it's so loose. It's just a freestyle, you know, nothing too crazy for me. I mean, those are five of the 20, and this is the thing about having an album that's 20 songs long, bro. It's like... It's a long ass listen. Even if it's only 50 minutes, it feels like it's a long ass listen because, and in my mind, you're already, you're not gonna put out 20 perfect tracks. There's just no way. Right now, with those in there, it's probably like, it's probably like a seven and a half for me. This album is solid though. It's a perfect example of why he's on top of the game because he comes with so much consistency and then ending the whole album with Bloody Canvas, bro. That's a whole nother level of storytelling that I don't think I remember hearing from Polo G before. But either way, I appreciate everybody that made it this far. Like I said, about a seven and a half, maybe as high as a low eight. I appreciate everybody that made it this far. And like I would say at the end of all of my videos, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other. And I'll catch everybody in the next video. Peace.